up guys welcome to my new video and in this video we will see what fuzzy grouping transformation is so fuzzy grouping transformations are used for uh, grouping similar similar kind of data or duplicates we, we, if you want to remove duplicates then we are using this transformation now let us see an example for it so we have this table and we have a couple of records in it so if you look closely in in this table you will see that some of these records have same name okay so first and eighth record third and last record fourth and second last record and there are some records which are misspelled okay so like second record is misspelled it should be y a okay instead of a y similarly sixth record as extra a and this fifth record the n is missing right so this kind of mistakes are corrected in fuzzy grouping so let us see how it is done so for this we need oledb source and flat file destination we are uh, correcting and we are we are going to save all the values in flat file and we need fuzzy grouping let us configure this so this is the server name and database all right and we need to select the table fuzz is the table okay now let us give this to fuzzy grouping now inside this we have many columns so select this name so input column is name and output alias is this name so it is same as the input and group output alice is name clean so it will clean all the misspelled records okay so match type is fuzzy and we have uh, the similarity name so it will tell the similarity okay it, 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 it will give a value how much similar the record is with the other records or with the exact record it will give the uh, score it will give a score to to the match oh, all right and so these are comparison flags so you can select ignore cases ignore kind of types so these are uh, some things which you want to ignore okay non spec expressing characters character width okay and in advance you have this input key column name so this is a unique key for every record and output key column name is the uh, record which is matching with this with the with the record okay and similarity score column name is the it it will give a score okay and this this is the threshold so let us keep this to 60% all right and we also need to remove this checklist because we have one space if you look at this there is a space in between we need to consider that all right so we are all set click on okay and give this to flat file let us configure this so let us give it a name so first column name in the first data row all right so we are all set let us look at the mapping all right so let us execute this all right so it, it has exceeded this is the output file all right so we have this file so key in is the unique number which is given to the record so first record is match with the first record itself and the score is 1 okay so it it is the exact match all right and quantity is 10 again name is this the clean name which is the corrected name is also same and the similarity name it is also one so this is the score okay in other terms it is the score next is the eighth record as you can see in this 
eighth record is exactly same as the first record. So eighth record is matched with the first record and score is also one. So it is exact match of the first record and similarity name is also one. All right. The clean name is this. So it, it, it is exact match. So clean name is also same. Sorry for that. Next is the sixth record and sixth record there is a correction in this so there is an extra a so it has been removed in this clean name and similarity score is 0.8571516 which is same as the similarity okay next to the second record where we are uh, we have misspelled this by a and it has corrected this similarity score is or similarity name is 0 0.66666 and 3 Next is the third record. Third record is matched with itself and uh, the score is 1. So in this way, it, it corrects everything. Now let us do one thing. We can group everything and we can uh, get the output as only three records. Okay. We will sum rest of the values. So let us see how, how to do that. So in the previous videos, we have seen how aggregation works. So let us use one aggregation. Uh, for this aggregate delete this sorry so we will use only name and quantity so it is grouped by name and quantity will be sum all right now we need to reconfigure this so let us reconfigure this <coughs> Alright, so we need a new file connection. Let us give it some of the name as one. Okay, columns. Oh, we need to reset this. What we'll do, we'll, we'll uh, delete this. We will re do everything. Okay flat file destination all right okay all right so we have two rows all right so we are all set now let us execute this okay so it has succeeded let us see what is the output so you can see we have this output okay we, we did a mistake actually what we should have done we should have taken this aggregate and we should have taken the clean name here all right now let us redo the mapping name should be clean name all right now let us see what happens all right so you can see only three rows have passed okay let us reload this so you can see it has grouped the name by the clean names and it has summed all the values so this is it Thanks for watching guys and I hope you got something from this video. If you like this video, do click on the like button, share this video, do subscribe and comment if you want. Thank you.